Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here, oop, if we can zoom in, <laughs> there we go. Uh, I forgot the flyover doesn't turn on names, um, but I, I will turn those on here. So here we go, we're here with Uko and with Rain, and they are about to set out and find a den. Now, this is where Uko's challenge is really gonna begin, and I think we're actually gonna send him off. I'm pretty sure we don't have restrictions here. Let me just double check that. Yeah, we don't have restrictions on where we can choose a den. We just have restrictions on marking the territory. So once we get past the initial territory marking mission, we can't mark territory past 75%, which of course will allow stranger wolves to spawn more uh, more frequently and put us in danger. But because Uko is part druid himself and bears that very characteristic druid look, then uh, I think we're going to actually have him come over here and take this den instead, the Saddle Meadows den, instead of the Bison Peak cutoff one, because those are both pretty uh, pretty close. Now, we don't tend to use the Aspen Heights den unless we're going for a specific challenge, because uh, it's so far away that it tends to take a really long time to get to the rendezvous site, and uh, it's basically an additional challenge in itself because the journey is so long. So let's go ahead and we will um, head up here and claim the den and then I'll go ahead and do the winter hunting. We're playing on challenging so it shouldn't be too hard and it's definitely going to be easier than uh, doing the winter hunting in 2.5. My goodness. So we'll go ahead and we'll claim this den uh, because I do think Uka would want to avoid the druids. He just doesn't want to get involved in this feud. He just wants to, to go off and do his own thing and not be involved in all this pack strife. So let's go ahead and we'll send him down to the hunting grounds and uh, I'll go ahead and montage the hunting for you. So I will see you guys after that. Alright, so we're done with the hunting. We did quite a bit. We've got a few carcasses here, so we should be good, I think. Uh, I'm not overly worried about the journey. Oh, it looks like another one spawned in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not worried about the journey in that respect, at least, so we should be fine. And we can go ahead and mark our territory here. So this is the only time we're allowed to mark past 75%. Oh, and there's a coyote. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Uh, Uko is really weak because, as you can see... It takes about seven hits to kill a coyote. That time it took eight. <laughs> um, so Ugo is really, really weak, and that concerns me a little bit. Uh, we, we went into this thinking we'd be worried about the stranger wolves, but honestly, I, I don't know, you guys. I think the coyotes might be an even... That's a, that's a cougar. Why is everything spawning in all of a sudden? My goodness. Uh, but yeah, it might be the coyotes that end up uh, being more worrisome and more trouble to deal with because, uh, yeah, you never know. Okay, there is still a cougar down there. Oh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to deal with it. All right, because I don't think this is going to be a good situation if this cougar sticks around. So let's go ahead and deal with this guy. I'm going to try... And probably, hmm, we can try and chase it into the edge of the map here, maybe, and that might help us. Oh, he's running the other way. Okay. Oh, he's sensing what we're doing, I think. I don't know. No, this may not help us, actually. There's no corners on this map that we can chase him into, really. The only accessible corners are across the map from us, so... Ugh, I don't think this is gonna help. 
Yeah, this isn't helping. We'll, we'll just chase him really far away and hope he disappears at the transition. Because, oh, now he's running right back towards the den. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. This is fine. Okay. Um, or actually, no, the den's on this hill. So he should be fine. Um, and hopefully he won't come back. Uh, but yeah, so maybe that's why Uko has been so so frightened of the druids because he, although he looks like one he doesn't really have their strength he's a lot more about speed he's a lot more about wits and if it did come to a straight up fight with a druid there's a good chance he would not make it out <laughs> and so that might be why he's so so skittish of them and wanting to avoid them at all costs is because he knows he couldn't stand up to them in a fight of, of, of physical strength in a direct contest of strength uh, because, I mean, he he's not all that strong. It, he can barely even take on a coyote. <laughs> so how could he manage to stand up to a druid wolf? I don't blame him for wanting to stay away. So this is the maximum we're normally allowed to have our territory at, but because we have to finish marking it for this mission, we're allowed to go past it here. Um, and uh, so we can mark it up to, I think it's like 90 or 95% that it has to be at before um before we're allowed or before before it moves us on but once our territory is to that extent then um we're not allowed to mark it again until it drops below 75 so the other thing is to like i mean if we get to 76 77 that's not bad like if it if, it, if it's just a little bit extra okay oh we don't actually have the experience to name buffs okay fine um well I guess we'll name these guys in a little bit. Most of them took after, in fact, all of them took after Uko. Uh, but I guess we'll name them then in the next episode. I, I guess that's how we'll do this. I didn't think about the experience level. I thought we were gonna have more, but apparently not. So <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and eat here and we should be able to train our pups pretty quick. I just wanna have the food on hand just so that we're ready on hand. Maybe it'll be on paw. Or I guess in this situation, it would be in stomach. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but that we have it ready for when we need to feed them. And uh, then we can finish up the training here. Uh, but yeah, so like if we're marking territory and it's below 75 and we mark it and it goes up to a little bit past 75, that's not... We're not going to be penalized for that. Uh, but once it hits 75 or is above 75, we have to stop. So basically that's how, how we'll call it. It's not, it's not like if it goes up to 76 on one or up to 77, we're not going to say, oh, we failed our mission, but uh, we can't then keep going if we go over, basically, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's head up here. And the pups don't seem too hungry, so let's go ahead and we'll probably play with them. Oof, we're in right in the middle of them. <laughs> um, but we'll see here. All right. Nope, that was too soon. There we go. They should all play bow. And if we keep doing this, then there we go. Alright. And it looks like Rain is here. She's going to play with them too. A little bit, I guess. Um, you have to give it enough time in between play bowing, otherwise they don't, uh, they don't go back to play bowing. You have to basically wait for them to start begging again, it looks like. And then you should be able to go back to play bowing. So here, we should be good. There we go. And just a few more times of this, and we should be ready. I think this does slightly more than howling, which is why I'm choosing to do the play bow route. Because as you can see, we're getting three from... Well, actually, is that experience? It looks like we're getting 12 from each of them. But that might be the experience. Oh, oh, oh look at that. We're up to 1,999. One that's perfect. Uh, we still can't name them. <laughs> we'll name them in the next episode. In fact, I'll probably name them between episodes and then uh, show you guys the results. Uh, man, I guess that makes Uko, like, he really hasn't earned that much experience. Earned? Earned. He really hasn't earned the, um, the, the same amount of experience we usually see with our other wolves. Oh my goodness, Rain, please don't stand in the way when I'm trying to kill a coyote. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, we're good. We're good. Um, 
But yeah, I guess he really hasn't quite earned the same amount of experience most of our wolves have. There we go. So for the next one, we'll be good. Oh, I guess they give you... Oh, yeah, they do give you 25. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking 15. I'm all discombobulated on the experience after having played in uh, in uh, 2.5 because uh, it was so different there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and we'll get the... Um, We'll get the food bar filled up again. Not that I think we're going to have to feed them this soon, but because I want the reason to leave so that we can come back and find another predator there. I see it as basically the pups are, are hiding in the den, and then the predator shows up, and uh, we so we see it sniffing around up there. Uh, that's how I've always seen that, but uh, I don't know how you guys interpret the predator kind of just waiting for us. Like, I see it as the pups going into the den and waiting there. And then the predator is trying to sniff him out by the time we arrive, but I don't know. So let's head up here, and I think we should be pretty close to uh, probably having another predator spawn. Have we had one spawn? It's a cougar. All right, this is fine. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's probably the cougar from earlier. I mean. Not in the game code, but <laughs> it probably, I mean, it makes sense. We saw one poking around here before the, uh, before the pups are born, that there might still be one even after. I mean, it would make sense. Um, it really would. So, oop, there we go. I'm gonna, oh, no, I'm not. What? Why is there a bear, too? Why is there a bear, too? All right, we have to let the cougar get close, I think. All right, it's going to come in from this side. So we have to be ready for it. Is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, okay. Don't rush in. Don't rush in. That's how bad things happen. Okay. So we're going to have to just run in and attack. All right. Did we actually... We didn't do any damage. What? Okay, we got one more hit in. Okay. No, don't. Please don't do that, Rain. Okay, we're gonna have to run and get food. Oh my goodness, please don't kill a pup. Please don't kill a pup. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was bad. I don't know why it didn't register the bite. Okay, pups are safe, so we should be able to come over here and eat. I don't know why there's a bear, too, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, and we'll go ahead and eat and fill our own hunger up, and then we should be able to run back in. The cougar will probably still be there. And we should be able to deal with it. This is why I, I don't like the Saddle Meadows Den as much. I tend to prefer Bison Peak Cutoff. Okay, the bear is coming towards the carcass, it looks like. Um, but uh, this is why I don't like this den as much, because it spawns a lot of cougars. And I really don't know... I don't know... Really? No, this is not what I... Ah, these pups. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, we should be able to just run in and bite. We got a hit. It got a hit as well. There we go. Okay, it's gone. Now to deal with the bear. Because <laughs> the bear is going to steal all of our food if we don't. Okay, the bear's going to be, like, right down here somewhere. Um, is it? Let's eat and make sure... Did it go down further? It might have. Did it go down to one of these carcasses? I'm gonna sniff around and see if I see it anywhere. It may just not have a... It may have just not stuck around. It might have gone someplace else, and I think that's what probably happened. It looks like it just kept moving and then probably despawned. Alright. Um, that or it's gonna target the pups, and we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> uh, but we're at full health now, so we should be good. And I think if we keep feeding the pups here, we, we're gonna have to deal with a few more predators. And it's probably also getting close to time to wrap up the episode here, so we will do that in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to run and get more food. We'll try and chase off at least one or two more predators, depending on how fast they spawn in, and we can deal with it from there. So I'm going to go to that far carcass, because, I mean, the pups really aren't, um, they're, they're really not that desperately hungry, and so we can afford to go to a further carcass. Maybe that's where the bear went. <laughs> uh, but we can, we can afford to go to a further carcass here, so that we won't, um... We won't have to worry about, uh, like, we can afford to go out here and not worry about them starving is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm a little discombobulated at the moment. So, let's head back, and we'll see 
And you guys can submit names for the pups, by the way, if you think of names you'd like to submit. Uh, I do take submissions. I haven't talked about that in a long time because we do have a pretty long list. But um, I, we do take name submissions, and so if you do submit one, you never know. It might be one that gets picked. So <laughs> that, could be a, that could be something you guys might be interested in doing, too. I know uh, that's always something you guys are keen to do is submit the names, and uh, it's, it's fun. It's a really fun way to get you guys involved in the stories that we're creating here. Okay, bite, bite, and bite. There we go. All right. Not too hard. We should have two predators left to chase off, I think. I'm pretty sure it gives you five on challenging. I'm pretty sure it's three on easy, five on challenging, seven or eight on arduous, and like 12 on bring it on. <laughs> 10 to 12. It gives you a lot on bring it on. But you have to chase off more for every level, and I'm not quite sure about the specifics of it. Um, but I do know that for challenging, because that's the most common one we play on, is it's five. Challenging, I feel, brings a nice balance of letting us have a specific outside challenge as well. And, um, also not making the game, like, ridiculously easy. So, I, I feel like it brings a nice challenge. It pretty- it balances things pretty well. And we should probably play with the pups again, because they look like they're losing pack affinity. So... We need to do that. Let's see if we can at least finish up the Defend the Den mission. And then we'll wrap up this episode because I think... Has anything else spawned? Oh, yep. That's the bad news I was worried about. Okay. Alright, so this is... Oh, no. Okay, he's running this way. <laughs> this is... Does not look like a Druid Wolf, thankfully. Sometimes you do see the Druid Wolves spawn up here. Or at least the ones that look like the Druid Wolves. They have the distinctive markings. <laughs> and so, sometimes you do see them spawn up here. And... Did we finish the mission? It didn't give us confirmation of that. It did say we chased off the stranger, though, right? Um... Did it? Uh, it doesn't actually show in your stats. I just realized this now. Um, well... Well, let's hope that a stranger wolf is not going to come back. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I guess, huh. I think we, I'm pretty sure, I'll have to go back and rewatch it. I'm pretty sure it gave us the pop-up to say that the stranger wolf is gone. Uh, but let's see if we can mark. We can mark a little bit, okay. So we can get it back up to 75 at least. Okay, 72. Okay, this one is full. Um, and 73, 75, there we go. Alright, so now we can't mark it again for a little bit. And, uh, we'll go down and get some more food for Pops. Maybe we'll have another Predator show up. Or, because we did, oh no, do we? I think maybe the Coyote wasn't, no, the Coyote was. Huh, that's interesting. Maybe the stranger wolf just didn't totally count for whatever reason. Maybe the stranger wolf counts as a threat to the territory and not just to the pups. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works, you guys. So, um, well, we have one more to chase off, it looks like. And then we should be able to do it. That, or we didn't actually chase off the stranger wolf. So, that might not be good. <laughs> um, let's head back, and there probably will be something else spawned in. And then we can raise pack affinity next time. And I'll go ahead and name the pups. Uh, in between the episodes here so that I don't have to do it on camera. It doesn't take a long time. Alright, we should be able to just head up this way. And... That's another stranger wolf. Okay. So maybe we didn't get him chased off. Oh no. Oh no. No, you don't. One, two, three. Does it give us the... Yes, you've chased that stranger away. So do they count... Towards the pup mission. Yes. Is it gonna give us the is it gonna give us the, the completed mission? I don't think it is. Maybe it's six predators? I don't actually know. Uh, but it is about time to wrap up the episode, so I guess we'll have to finish that mission next time. Uh, and we should be able to do that without too much problem. Uh, let's just get the pack affinity up here as we end off the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.